Oh yeah. Hello there, everybody. This is JRPG Historia Future Perfect. I feel pretty good. Why is that, Evan? Uh, it's not as hot in my office as it normally is. Um, mm -hmm. Why is that? Initially, I don't know why. Maybe it's just a little less humid today. Mm -hmm. We're undergoing a pretty severe both heat wave and drought in where I live, like historic, like decades. Mm -hmm. Like oh boy, like the the drought is is awful. Like like it's been like four years since a drought this bad. Right, it's so been I'm like saying, four years since you've had a glass of water, right? Yeah, you know I'm making do. Yeah. I found some Nest Quick. I've been oh okay, that's good. Drinking that was for it. A while. Was it was it just the powder or were you able to find? It was some... just the powder. It was strawberry. So oh okay. I, oh, I, I love it's the strawberry. Uh, I generally have to wait. I spit into it then mix it up. Right, this right. No water takes a couple days yeah but you know it's a good payoff oh yeah uh this is guys of arcadia i'm joined as always by space quartermaster ryan hello and as sometimes by virtual stowaway kyle lock yo and uh i believe we have to go under valua yes we are going after the yellow moonstone I... is that the last moonstone kyle that it would is. be the last one that is guys that is how many moonstones are there look at crescent isle there are six total okay so 10 more episodes and we'll be done <laughs> hey have you guys ever felt like this island looks sort of like a tire a white tire it just occurred to me no not a white tire those don't exist uh okay wait, wait, wait. any more asterisk <laughs> right <laughs> asterisk <laughs> Um, <laughs> double asterisk unless you go to a certain company unless unless you paint your tires white <laughs> <laughs> triple case. asterisk yes oh, you racist yeah. you terrible terrible yeah, you're pro also probably a white supremacist if you do that because who would do that exactly um okay so first things first i feel like i haven't gotten new equipment in a while i'd kind of like to first do that. first things first i think there needs to there's a retraction that needs to be made from a previous episode oh my god really <laughs> okay i am bringing yes. it up okay you are right. In episode 62, when I claimed I couldn't hear you correct yourself and say Crescent Isle, it's actually entirely uh, listenable on... Clear YouTube. as crystal. So <laughs> I apologize to you, Kyle. <laughs> Sometimes, playing 36 hours of a game and talking I know, over it I'm is just... hard. <laughs> Sometimes, when it's 11 o'clock at night and it's 95 degrees in your room, you start to hear things and see There's things. N You have no excuse. No, I'm just... <laughs> uh, I just thought it was really funny. Yeah. I commented on it, and then so, somebody else commented. Yeah, like, that fucking reply. guy gives me an awful lot of shit. <laughs> that was great. That's like the other guy, other than Smash Bros, who comments, and a lot of his comments are like giving me shit. Oh yeah. Oh no. I'm 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 aware of of that kind of. <laughs> so fuck. So fuck him. <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking. Equipment-wise, where should we go? Should I just go like Nasrad and see if? They um, have new stuff. Cause... Yeah, you could check there. Um, I, really... I will say, in the dungeon that we're about to go into, if I recall correctly, we will be getting the Thunder Cutlass for Vice, which is like the most one of the most powerful weapons for him. Okay. So I'd mainly I like wouldn't to... waste anything on him right now. I'd like to try get some armor or maybe the cannons for my ship. Uh, the Moon Cannon and the X Cannon. I'm trying to remember where those are located. I feel like those are also like I feel like a lot of the best stuff you get is just through the story itself, and okay. it's not really through going through markets or anything. Right. Um. But I mean, we can take a look and see I what could, what I they have. Stand to stock up on items too, because I okay. I think I've I've burned through about half of my sacral and crystals. Right. So I yeah. So we used. The, it seems like we used a lot of them in the last episode or yeah. so. Yeah, we used a lot of um, resolum crystals too. Yeah, uh, a lot of those. So uh, <laughs> I went uh, to go do uh, one of my live streams for Skies of Arcadia, and because yeah. uh, you can't I get went... enough. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I went and looked, and I went to go load my my save, and I have my previous playthrough still on separate a uh, separate save file, mm -hmm. and I realized that. My playtime for that was like 28 hours. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, oh, so by this time we would have already beaten it. <laughs> well. And I just I just thought that was pretty funny because we're at, we're at what, 36 you said? Yeah, 36 we're, hours? We're at 36. Wow. 
That's crazy. It is... How long to beat places us at, like, having eight hours left, so we are well within the average. Okay. But, yeah, and, like, that that is, that's is—that's Skies of Arcadia Legends, which has the quote-unquote ten extra hours of content. Right, which is probably, like, in reality, what, three? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of, um, one of the side missions is getting what are called moonfish. Uh, you, you run into uh-huh. this doctor and he has this little girl who uh, has like suffered some traumatic like experience and she won't talk anymore. But she randomly found like this little creature that she now like really adores and loves. Mm-hmm. And if you give this thing moonfish, it like evolves and grows bigger. And okay. like by growing it bigger and showing like that you care for this thing, she starts to become more comfortable around you and starts talking and stuff. Mm-hmm. And there's like a hundred moonfish. It's like trying to find like the secret packages in GTA or something. Um, but exte- except it's kind of like with Cupel, where you get close to a champ, you will get an indicator that says, "Oh, it's I around see. here somewhere." I see. So you have to get a bunch of those. So I guess I that did probably that. stacks up to. Yeah, more that takes a while. Than, yeah. And then uh, the other, probably my favorite thing that they added into Legends was um, the uh, wanted list, which you know, if you go into the treasure uh, place or something like that, and you know, sell which or uh, what discoveries you've mm-hmm. found and stuff, there's also a wanted list for like different pirates that are like at large, and you get you know lump sums for for fighting them and defeating them. Mm-hmm. So, like, one of them is Lord Zivlin Bane. So he's the leader of all of the other Zivlin oh, Banes that you fight. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck um, that guy. Yeah, and then there's uh, there's the ones that I talked about before, which are the, the three imposters that try and mimic right. you guys. And then uh, one of them is Vigoro, uh, that, you know, obviously from this game, but he has, like, another fight uh, where you try and take him down, which is actually the most, like... Apparently, it's the hardest battle in the entire, like, game. Hmm. Um, I think we talked about this before. He does, like, 8,000 damage with one of his normal, like, super moves. Nice. All right, then. So, yeah. There, there's... there's, it's If you're going to get a version of Skies of Arcadia, either one is good. Yeah. Um, both have pros and cons, obviously. The pros Probably. for Legends are going to be the added content like that. Right. But... I think the Dreamcast version has, um, like, the porting of the music specifically in Legends is very poor. Okay. Um, so the music in this version is much better. Uh, yeah, I, it's probably easier to get your hands on a GameCube right now than a Dreamcast too. The Dreamcast version is actually, I think, cheaper to get than the GameCube one because really? the the GameCube version was more rare because it was right around oh. the end of the life cycle, if I remember correctly. The Dreamcast 2 was a super underrated console. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Just like the first one. It's where you so. can play uh, StarCraft Ghost. Yeah. Man, that was Man. a good game. I'm, I still have the Game Informer issue with that on the cover. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you'd need that when you can just remind yourself of how good it was because you played it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's hit it. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll. Where are we going, Valua? Yeah, so I believe... So over here. Yeah, right there. So... And don't forget, you can go above and below the clouds now. Oh, shit. No random encounters. Go, go, go. Yes! Uh, We're here. <laughs> born free. Easy ride. Free falling. No. Oh, not, not what I was going for, but... Yeah, I, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you guys... This is... also means that you can avoid all of, like, the uh, the walls, too. So, like, everything is just... It's just all open. This is so good. And Why there did... are more discoveries that you can find above and below uh, in the higher altitudes and lower altitudes. So, so what's the point of going below? Uh, we will be going below uh, the al- uh, yeah. the lower altitudes for actually this next part. Yeah, we and have to go so... under Valua to get yeah. up. But like, is there any tangible benefit besides story progression? Yeah, there's like there's discoveries that you'll find. Um, but there. like, it, will you can you still run in enemies there or no? No, no. It's just like if you go below or uh, above. Yeah, there's no random encounters, so it's. I think you're at the Fortress 7. Peace out, everybody. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> you didn't see anything. 
God, right. why didn't they give this to me 15 hours in? <laughs> because we didn't have a ship 15 hours in. God, you're right. So let's see here. I think you just left the fortress, didn't you? No, I think I'm doing it, man. I think I'm nailing this. <laughs> All right. I know there's a discovery very close to the entrance. Um, hey, a bunch of fish. But uh, we're looking for... Uh, there's... I think it's called the Dancing Lights. Um, it's just what looks like two kind of or like yellow orbs. They're going to be kind of like going, just moving around in circles. And as soon as you find those, uh, the entrance is very close well, to that. Them. Just feel like under here. Yeah, yeah. Just, just stay underneath the clouds, and we'll find it eventually. Let's go this way. Well, let me see exactly. Yeah, take a look at the map real quick. Okay, so probably further south. Yeah, south, south, east. Come on, come on, orbs. <laughs> Let's do this. You know you want to. You know you want it. <laughs> do, do, do they, though? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think we're going out. out from under it. Let's see here. Yeah, no, we're all the way over here. That was like a solid ten seconds of me trying really hard not to make a blurred lines joke. I yeah, same here. I was yeah. Good job. I, thanks. Steady just talked about it. We yep. We no, have I, I feel like we that's have... the favorite. That's the best kind of joke. Yeah. Just uh, talking yeah, about have... the joke you could have made <laughs> but didn't. We have higher standards than that. Yeah. Evan, let me tell you a little bit about Daniel Tosh. What's not? <laughs> uh, I don't know that I need to hear anything about Daniel Tosh. To be quite honest with you. Um, I say, go a little bit more uh, east. Like, uh, east, slightly northeast. East? I thought you said west. Also, we're playing skies, not east. Huh? 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 Should have talked about that joke instead of making it. Yeah, I know. It would have been funny. <laughs> it's like when I talked about devil's vocabulary instead of making the devil's vocabulary joke. <laughs> right. That was really funny. You guys. Stay underneath this, but go, like, to the left. Like, over here? Left, 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 left. left. Okay. Just follow, like, the outer perimeter of the, the continent, essentially. Don't. Should you be like, going to, be to where the Grand Fortress was? That's no, 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 no. There. It's you yeah. remember where that seal was that we found? No, nope. it's just like <laughs> it was where uh, I said that I think there's a cham around here, but they were all chams. Nope. All right. Don't remember that at all. Okay then. That was about eight hours in. <laughs> yeah. You guys. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, left, left, left. I saw it. I saw it. Left. Ah. Here we are. I love how I'm, like, watching this through a webcam, and I saw it. But Evan, the person who's oh, sitting in the room oh with my. the television, oh, missed it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't need any more of this shit. <laughs> wait, wait, that was just for the discovery? Yeah, but the entrance is pretty much to the right. Wait, what the correctly. fuck? Oh, so this was just a marker to tell you where the entrance was. It, Yeah, it, held, it, it I've always used that as kind of a okay. way to find I thought you were just you were just leading us on a goose chase for a fucking oh. discovery. All right, okay. just go to the right. Look so right this behind way. you, pretty much. Uh, let's see here. No, 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 no. It's still below the clouds. All right, like this way. <laughs> well, it's it's like out. on the outer perimeter of of okay, the well, continent. You told me to go right of the of the light. Can't you just go like up under the continent back? Of the okay, head? stop, stop. All right, now look around real quick. Right in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that looks like a giant entrance. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's also not fucking right of the whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go in here. The Maw of Tardis. There you go. Sounds like a <laughs> good thing to do. <laughs> Save point. You guys, it's a ship dungeon. You guys. Yep. You guys. You guys. You guys. That's, that's I, don't, kind of I don't know what it is, but whenever Ryan starts singing, 
<laughs> on his own in silence, the static from his end gets much louder. <laughs> probably, well, probably what it is is because Skype tries to make it so that you can hear individuals, and if he's talking really quietly, yeah. it turns up the gain so that we can try and hear him. I will stop doing that then. Okay. You can also go into your audio settings and check off the box that, like, automatically adjusts. Right. I will do that then. <laughs> I did not know that it reset that setting. Yeah, because, no, yeah, it's, 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 it's not checked. It's not checked. Okay, so just don't do that. Yeah. Okay. That's, I was say, forgive could be me better. for making a Doctor Who reference. Yeah, please. <laughs> you must be forgiven. All right. Who wants to fight you? Fuck you. You're blue. Are you blue? Yeah, you're purple. So red's gonna. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Ugh. <laughs> Fuck you, guy. This, well, yeah, that's, look at this dumbo. Look at the frost breath. I've played 36 hours of this game. You think frost breath is gonna stop me? <laughs> it isn't. Not yet, anyway. You know why it isn't gonna stop me? You know why? It's why? Because I'm just gonna run away once the turn is done. <laughs> I gave it my best. Now it's time to run. Now it's over. <laughs> Retreat. Retreat, everybody. We gave our best shot. Well, fuck. Let's see here. We're done. What level? What level are your characters at this point? Uh, level thirty-two, level thirty, level thirty, level thirty-two. Okay. That's what I'm riding at. All right. <laughs> Ride the whole thing out from here. Yep. <laughs> you know it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's rock and roll. What's in here? Uh, now, you will be able to find, like I said, we'll be able to find some um, treasure. Uh, one of them being the Thunder Cutlass, if I remember correctly. You will be looking for, kind of similar to see how that crystal was in the center on the yeah. ground there. Yeah. Uh, that one you, is not it, but what you'll you'll find similar ones kind of like that. Mm -hmm. um, that if you go up and you press A, that it'll have something inside of it. Okay. So Good that's what you want to be looking for. Hey, hey Evan, you see you see that thing over there? Yeah, that's not that's not what you're looking for. Yeah, it's just well, not. It's just... There is a very slight difference to tell which one is able to be open and which one isn't, in it, but it's just very hard to describe. Right, right. So I probably won't be able to figure it out. I mean, the best way I could say is that one of them looks more hollow than the other. Like, uh, okay. that's, sure. that's no, the best way I, I could yeah, say I, <laughs> If you hit it with your sword, it'll make a different sound. Okay. Yeah. So just go out of the deck, and then... Bing! Oh, nope, that's not it. Yep. What are you doing, Shrilp? What kind of a fucking name is that? Shrilp. What do you got against Shrilp, huh? What did it ever do to you? What do I have for Shrilp? What do you ever do for me? I'm just saying, man. Didn't do anything to this you. Is, this is it. No, there's no need to be, be mean. I mean, it is attacking him. <laughs> it, yeah, it is. It is trying to kill me. I it is literally oh, no, doing it's... the most aggressive thing it can do to him right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you invaded his space. I mean, well, yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's just kind of defend his turf, shit. right? I didn't want to fight. If he doesn't want to fight, he can run away. I won't give a shit. <laughs> He's just bolder, like, hey, man, you know, let's not do this. Yeah, right, let's, let's not. Let's go. Instead, he's going to die. Like they Except for rope only communicate by, like, rubbing the, themselves against your face <laughs> and taking it as an attack. We only communicate by attacking. <laughs> no, this is a friendly attack. Oh. No I was just dead. trying to say that I like your fashion. I don't. Let's talk about their fashion some more. <laughs> what, a, what a shame. What a yeah. thrill. This, it makes no sense. <laughs> it's like worse than steampunk. Can we not talk about fashion anymore? We're on episode <laughs> 63, Ryan. <laughs> and it's still a problem. It's been a while. It's not a problem either. It's fine. Ah. <laughs> uh. God. Good, good times. Good, good times. times. We have fun here. <laughs> some of us. Yeah. Yeah, some of us more than others. I think Ryan's, Ryan's still upset at me about the drama thing. And look, 
And you're still At upset about the, the Crescent Isle thing. thing. I'm not still upset about the Crescent <laughs> Isle thing. I forgot what happened with Drachma last because when you said I was upset about the Drachma thing, I jumped back to when I told you guys he was a coin. No. And you guys didn't believe me. <laughs> still can't believe you guys didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, apparently you're I just think... a font of knowledge. Fucking <laughs> Drachma is a coin and also tires used to be white. <laughs> he was right. I mean, he... He, it was a lucky guess. <laughs> One of those two things was a lucky guess. Yeah, no, he knew the coin was the drachma, but, you know. Let's call a... Let's call a something a something here. I can't think of what the turn of phrase is. I'm very tired. <laughs> Alright. Why are you tired? Uh, I... Haven't been sleeping in the most healthy way recently. Playing too much Dota. <laughs> so well, maybe you should maybe you should get four hours of sleep instead of eight. Less, it's not a matter of the... I mean, I don't get eight hours of sleep. I normally get, like, probably between five and six, which is fine for me. I don't... Mm -hmm. I, you know, I... It probably would be better of me to get eight, but there's a lot of things about my lifestyle that could be better and healthier. <laughs> uh, but, like, last night... Or, not last night, the night before last night, I was watching, I was watching anime with you, Ryan, you and mm -hmm. Matthew, and then you had to leave, mm -hmm. and Matthew was like, so, do you want to play Dota? And I was like, no, I can't do that, it's like, it's like two o'clock, I, I can't, I, because I'd have to get out of bed, I'd have to walk to this, my office, where it's hot all the time, and then play Dota. You played Dota, didn't you? Uh, so then, you know, flash forward five in the morning, uh, we finished playing Dota. Yep. Well done. So then I went to sleep at around si I watched 35 minutes of a giant bomb video, fell asleep, woke up at 2.30 in the afternoon, and finished the video. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, lived my life. And, and yeah. yeah. I was really cut because I was playing some Dark Souls on Steam last night mm -hmm. after having played a couple bot matches of Dota trying out some new heroes. Yeah. And, like, literally five minutes after I stopped playing Dota, I got a message from Evan saying, Hey, you want to play Dota? And I was like, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I really... So, yeah, I saw a, a, the Dota worm kind of bit me a little while ago, like a month ago. So now I play Dota. It's very unhealthy. I don't recommend it. Yeah, say that's I, uh, one of those games that I have not touched. <laughs> yeah, I have spent more time yeah. looking up builds on, for Dota than playing Dota. <laughs> Ryan fell way harder into the Dota pit than I expected, <laughs> because most of the time the thing with Dota is you either need somebody there to guide you into it because it's so obtuse, or you, or you're just fucking cool enough that you figure it out on your own like I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but or you just have just a lot like, of time on your hands yeah, and you're no, able to that's figure obviously it. that's that's actually what happened I just <laughs> played like 10 hours and figured it out sort of right. I sort of figured it out I'm still not good at it and then Ryan I played like a match with him and explained him to him sort of all the how the stuff works and he was like okay and then he messages me the next day he's like I hate you I spent all night looking up Dota builds <laughs> Wow. It's not okay. Because that's what... Because, I mean, in a way I should have predicted it, because that's exactly what Ryan does with everything. <laughs> that's... It's one of the least surprising things he could do. Look it's at that true. fiber mail. Nice. Look at that shit. But yeah, I, I got a lot farther in Dark Souls last night. I played like five hours. I was very happy with my progress. So where are you at? I have beaten two of the... Uh, like I've lit two of the primal bonfires. Jesus, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time uh, in the Iron Keep and doing going to other places like leveling and exploring okay. and stuff. Yeah, well, that's 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 another game that I I'm just so bad at that game. Yeah, like that's just I I tried that one so and I I tried my best. But no, no, it's. Did you I, try one, two or one? One. Because I think two in some ways is friendlier than one. Yeah, yeah. I did. Though. Two is better. I I remember I beat the first boss and I was like, "Yay!" Yeah. 
Well, and two, then I got into the real world. <laughs> the the thing with two that some people dislike that I don't dislike, I just think it's sort of different, is Dark Souls 1, the area you were working in was a lot smaller, but there were, like, a lot more levels and a lot more weird ways to access, like, other key parts of the game. Whereas Dark Souls 2 is a lot bigger, you, you go to a lot more places, but it's a little straighter in that, like, you have your hub town, and then there are four mm -hmm. different directions you can go that basically proceed right. in a straight line to the end. I remember I got stuck, uh, well, I remember I got to the point where I, I got to this boss that's, like, on a bridge, yeah. like, running across the, it, and then it, like, drops down. The, uh, oh, the torrent. dragon. The, yeah. No, not the, not the, I think he means, like, the Taurus demon. Oh, you, you probably, like yeah. can turn around and you go run back and you like climb, you up, climb this up the ladder. ladder and kill yeah, the okay, that is a Taurus team. Yeah, right. Yeah, I got to that one, and I mean, I figured out the strategy. Yeah, but I just kept failing at the, to the point where I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the the thing with Dark Souls is is there are a lot of ways you can make it easier. Um, that you know, like if you were. Uh, summoning people into boss battles more regularly that might be a good way to sort of ease yourself into it mm -hmm. um because a lot of those bosses once you get like two or three people in there fighting with you they just become trivial uh, right. especially if those people know what they're doing mm -hmm. um, but yeah no dark souls definitely definitely recommend it it's not for everyone but i i felt really good playing dark souls 2 last night because clint's been uh streaming mm -hmm. his playthrough of dark souls 2 and uh where he last left off, at least I don't think you guys have streamed anymore since I was on last, was uh, no. the Royal Rat Authority. Uh, yes. yes. And he was he could not handle that. No, I spent like four fucking hours at the Royal Rat Authority. I beat it on my second try. What? Wow. Yes. You monster. <laughs> How? Did you just kill... Did you just I, have um... enough damage where you could kill all the rats in one hit? No, I, I would back up to, like, the exit of the area and kill two of the small rats with my bow and arrow. Mm. And then the other two rats would get to me by the before the boss would. Right. So I would kill those, and then I would just roll under the Royal Rat Authority's legs. Yeah, I mean, the, the once you get the problem with the Royal Rat Authority is the toxic, the, his yeah. toxic rat mob buddies. Yeah. Just I, also beat, I also beat the... Um, Duke's dear Freya, Freja, yeah. on the second try. Wow. Look at you. <laughs> Too hot to handle. Yep. Uh, I'm still not ever going to let you live your uh, your your initial Lost Sinner defeat down, though. What if what if I do it on New Game Plus with... Okay. Without... Uh, hang on, just... I saw what sorry. that looked like. Do you, so do you see what I'm saying yeah, now yeah, about, yeah. like... Okay, no. I just want to make like sure. A, it's like there's a hologram of a... Okay. Of a crystal. So yeah, that's from. what you want to look for. <laughs> okay. Uh, continue. What What if I beat the Lost Center on New Game Plus without the torches lit? Uh, I mean, I don't look. At this point, you can do whatever you want to do to prove whatever you want to yourself. <laughs> uh, See, this is the bullshit thing. <laughs> but you know, this is Evan's doing the thing I do to him. Came... I hate it. No, Ryan. You came to me. You told me you were going to do something. You told me you had integrity, and then you and then you went back on it. And nothing will ever change that. I forgive, but I never forget. Wait, are you talking about the very first time I fought yes. the lesson, or when I lit the torches and you said that didn't count? No, I'm talking about the time you told me. You know, I really think it's important that I beat the lost sinner on my own. And then, you and then I it. did, and just no, not that time. On. And then you tried it for a couple hours, and I was like, so you beat him? He's like, yeah, I summoned two people. <laughs> You'll never but live I, that down. I beat her by myself the second time, though. Yeah, well, that's that's good for you. Oh, well. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of taking that away from you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so sad. He's just so earnestly sad. Because, see, this is the. Uh, we have sort of like an abusive father son relationship going on. <laughs> he seeks I'm my a redheaded stepchild. Yeah, he's, he seeks my approval constantly. You know. <laughs> Needs the approval of a 12 year old. That's what, that's what I'm trying to get really good at, Dota. That's, yeah. I'll impress him one day. See, Pay Dad, attention I, to me! I can play Dota. 
Uh, so what did, what did what did you get from that one? Was that a moonberry? That was a moonberry, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, I want to say that the Thunder Cutlass is either going to be an item that we get in this dungeon, or it might be a benefit that we get from the boss. I can't remember which it is. I will say, um, not a big fan of the way this dungeon looks, because the way the textures blur together make it very hard to determine what's yes. the opening and what's I, the wall. I can completely agree with that. Uh, <laughs> it, is, it is not easy to, to maneuver so. and figure out where you were at. And let's, where you've been? Yeah. So let's just uh, let's just talk about other things and sort of maybe put this on a on the back burner. <laughs> yeah. So Kyle, I mean, you play a lot of like Steam games and stuff, right? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a weird question. <laughs> um, have you played the Just Cause Two multiplayer mod? <laughs> no, I have Just Cause Two though. I love that game. Well, you uh, should get the multiplayer mod. <laughs> the multiplayer mod is free on Steam. You can install um, it. Um, I. I haven't laughed very like as hard as I did while playing the multiplayer mod with Evan. I, I, I do have it in my Steam list, actually. I should probably yeah, check that out. It's pr it's not really a game. Um, <laughs> it's an experience. It's, it's an experience. All right. Basically, they just have it so that you can have like hundreds of people running around, like it's an uh, like it's an MMO or something. But oh my. Um, but there are no NPCs, there are no quests. Uh, there's no, it's it's just you and like there's sort of a currency system that lets you buy new guns and that's basically <laughs> it. But it's still it's still like hundreds of people all with the fucking grappling yeah, I say, hook. I don't need guns when I've got the grappling hook. <laughs> yeah, and so Ryan and I did some weird shit. There are a bunch of weird commands on certain servers too, like ours had slash whale, which just turned all of the vehicles into uh, the beached whales like sprite <laughs> not sprite but the be the beached whale character wow. model wow um and then uh, there's also it would have been a parking lot full of cars is just a bunch of beached whales stacked next to each other <laughs> yeah there was the part where we turned on uh, uh slash jesus which lets you walk on water Oh god. Um, we went to this tiny island because we both turned it on, and when you have it turned on, like you can drive vehicles on water too. Yeah. <laughs> so Evan and I got. Evan was driving this tractor that I uh, stunt jumped on top of. Mm -hmm. And there's this boost button. Yeah. The boost button's crazy. The boost doesn't make any sense. Like, the boost doesn't need any traction to boost. So, like, let's say you go off a ramp while you're boosting, you'll just keep uh -huh. boosting straight in whatever direction you... So, imagine So there's you... no, like, gravity. Like, yeah, just... no. No, the boost overrides gravity. Um, <laughs> so, like, Evan and I were on this island. I was on top of the tractor. He boosts. I fall off immediately because, like, there's a bump on the island. And then I just see him skipping Gravity doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but if you use the boost while someone's on the car, they're going away. There's also there's also a thing where like the um the water like it doesn't know how to deal with you cuz it, it re when you turn that on it recognizes the water as a surface you can just walk on. And any mm -hmm. surface like that you can grapple onto and God. pull yourself toward it, but the game like doesn't understand what to do when you grapple into the water. So what that <laughs> means is if I grapple in, then like I'll never stop grappling unless I unless I terminate it out like into a parachute or something. So I'll right. just fl like fling myself indefinitely across the world. Wow. There's also skiing. Yeah, there's skiing too. It's pre I would recommend it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Did they yeah, just petrify definitely... everyone? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Everybody, pretty much everybody's stone. Well. <laughs> Hey, they, hey, you're getting They've got there. a nice hot box going on in the ship right now. <laughs> Close the window, motherfucker. God. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, Kyle, you should play Dota with us sometime. <laughs> Don't fucking try to get Kyle. We need a fifth, man! I'm just oh, saying, man. don't do it to Kyle. Dota's, Dota ruins lives. Don't... Yeah, like games like like Dota or League of Legends uh -huh. or uh, World of Warcraft, yeah. uh, uh, games like that, I don't touch because You're if worried. I did, nobody would ever hear from me ever yeah. again. But yeah. it's free. It is free. That's <laughs> I true. will say I do have it right. in my Steam library, uh, but it is, oh, it is installed. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, oh, oh, that's right, because Clint, Clint's been like, you should, you should play it too. 
Clint's yeah. going to be really frustrated when he comes back after his tech week that he's doing yeah. with this play. And he, Evan, Matthew, and I are all, like, Dota seriously into Dota. <laughs> Because he last he's year been he like was watching, super... he's been like watching Dota, and he'll yeah. like message me and be like, "Dude, watch this thing." And he like, I'll watch the video. I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> why was that cool? Like, I, <laughs> I don't get it." And then he has yeah. to explain it to me, and I'm like, "Okay, sure, well, whatever you say, buddy." <laughs> yeah, well, Dota is cool, so. Oh, I have no you, doubt. You can try. I mean, you it, can try it, on if it can be over, what, that's the one that was on uh, ESPN, right? Yep. Dota. Yeah, so if it if it could be on over on, on ESPN, I'm sure ESPN, it's... ESPN, yeah. ESPN, like, 4, House of Poker, and, uh... Hey, man. RC I, car driving. I love the watching, Ocho. like... The Ocho. Shit. I, I, watch, I, I used to watch poker all the time. <laughs> really? So that was yeah. that was one of your scenes? Poker? I Yeah, I really enjoyed watching, uh, like, uh, Texas Hold'em. I enjoy playing poker. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy playing like Texas Hold'em as well. But like watching, I could never really get into. I would though. I would watch uh, ce- what was it called? Celebrity, celebrity poker. death match. <laughs> yeah, celebrity uh, death match. That was a good show. Too, celebrity but, uh, Apprentice. No, there was this. There was a celebrity uh, Texas Hold'em show um, that was that was pretty good. Are we uh, talking uh, like celebrity in scare quotes? <laughs> Yeah, like like B movie. Okay. And like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's here's the bad. producer for uh, Birdemic. Here's the producer for B movie with Jerry Seinfeld. A celebrity uh, Poker Showdown. It's actually Jerry oh. Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> it was hosted by Dave Foley. <laughs> yeah, of course it was. Okay. F- figures. Uh, let's see. But yeah, like some people who were on there. Uh, ben Affleck was on there actually. Don Cheadle. Well, it's been on here. Martin Sheen, uh, Carrie Fisher, Sarah Silverman. Okay, those so, are people I know. Yeah. So sure. there was Norm MacDonald. And it's just, it's more or less just some of the hilarious conversations that happen right. between these people sure. rather than the game itself, obviously. Sure, sure. There, was, there was plenty of times where people were like, I don't even know how to play this game, so I'm just here to have fun. Like, sounds, that's all it was good. for. Sounds good. Oh, Brian, God. Brian Stiles, Dennis Rodman. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh God, Dennis Rodman, Brian Stiles, and Tony Hawk were all in one game together. <laughs> if you want to hear something very funny, you should hear uh, the episode of Harmon Town, Dan Harmon's podcast, mm-hmm. Creative Community. Uh, Ryan Stiles plays D and D in an oh, episode wow. of that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't. I, this dungeon's the worst. <laughs> yeah. I can't fly like anywhere and get my bearings without getting into it's, a random it's... encounter. That's really confusing. Okay. Greg Pruitt's but, also of uh, uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway fame oh, is yeah. on a couple episodes of that podcast, also playing D&D as a unicorn named Tylenol with Cody. <laughs> it's really good. <sighs> Evan, I, you sound bored. I, uh, yeah, I need to get out of here. <laughs> I gotta get out! Uh, cause... I mean, if I remember correctly, <laughs> in the... In the grand scheme of this entire dungeon, there's really, uh, let's see here, like three routes. Right. So, but it's yeah, but it's just the way that it looks, and it just messes with you. So it's it's really oh, in reality God. not that bad, but they make it really bad. Yeah. What's the name of this dungeon? Does it have a name? Uh, the mouth of Tardis. Yeah, mall oh, mall of Tardis. The, the the dungeon with all the shit on the walls where they smeared shit all over everything and then they were like find your way out of the shit maze pretty much also, yeah I definitely say we should we should do the best we can to ex- make sure we explore and get all the items from this one because I believe the thunder cutlass is in here I'll double check on it sorry I'm not done fighting these Cadbury eggs yet <laughs> White chocolate Cadbury eggs, obviously. You racist. White chocolate actually is, is like a is like a popular thing, though. I know. I like white chocolate. Yeah. I like what do you think? Racism isn't popular. Or, or, <laughs> weren't you one of these people who's like, I like white chocolate more than chocolate? Did I say that? I think you said. Did you? I remember. I like it more than dark to- dark chocolate. No, I'm. 
I just recall you on a podcast being like, white chocolate is the best chocolate, and then me telling you it's not actually chocolate. It has chocolate in its name, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, oh, there's Thunder... like the fucking boneless wings fiasco all over again. Oh, jeez. Uh, Thunder Cutlass is actually going to be a reward from the boss. Okay. So. So in that case, I'm not going to worry about it. Right. I, I, your, your argument against boneless wings is terrible bullshit. Oh my wait, god. Wait, 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 oh wait. You're, god. you're, you're, you're bone in. Okay. Let me say something. Straight He's up. bone in on the dumbest principle ever. Shut okay, up. let's see. I want to hear this. Shut I want to hear this. Let's let's hear this so that we can I get this hate, out I and then have the random Everybody, YouTube comments. shut up. I hate bone in wings. I never eat them. I don't like eating meat off of bones. I think it's gross. Point one. <laughs> okay. Here is the other thing. Boneless wings, by and large, are not wings. They are not. They are... It is chicken breast that has been processed and shaped like a wing. It's a wing. See, a wing. I don't know where your argument going. is based on semantics. What I don't know where you're argument? going that these boneless wings are shaped like bone-in wings. Okay, so then it then it extra doesn't make any sense. So what's your argument now? Oh, I don't know where you're going. Where they, where <laughs> the thing they're lying to me about is actually more convincing than what than what is real. Like, what are you saying? I'm saying that what they call boneless wings is better than what they call bone-in wings. I wing. don't disagree with you, but they're not wings. It's a misnomer. It's... I've never I've never claimed for them to be wings. No, you have. That's what the whole crux of my argument was about. Was <laughs> I've like, claimed for them to be better than... I'm just no, saying that no, your argument... No, I never... You can fucking go back and you can listen to all of those podcasts. I never claimed it. I hate eating things off of bones. You motherfucker. I'm just saying... That in the argument of boneless versus bone in, I said it was Ed. It was a pointless argument because bone in wings are gross and boneless wings aren't wings. It's a non-argument. But you, ha if you had to choose to have one or the other, boneless, because I don't like okay. eating things off of bones. But they're not. But call them. I know. Like, I know what you're saying. Call um, them like it's, chicken. It's just nuggets it's just... or something. <laughs> What? So wait, are you but sure that it's as chicken many breast? People would want to buy them then. Are you are you positive it's not the, like boneless wings aren't made from chicken wing meat? If you if you present me boneless wings that are made from chicken wing meat, then sure, I can tell you for fucking sure that the wings they sell at various fast food wings depositories are not chicken wing meat because it's more expensive and a lot of those are shaped like actual bone in wings. It's not, if it was a boneless wing, it would probably have a fucking hole in the middle of it where they took the bone out. Yeah, it's just, it's just advertising, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah, I know, and it's false advertising. Yeah, but, It's I mean... like if you called a hamburger a steak, that's not what it is. It's the same meat, <laughs> but it's not the same thing. Right. I get what you're saying. Okay, but yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, I, you should get what I'm saying, because I'm right. This, my, so, my problem with Evan's argument is that he assumed uh, he initially assumed that I go to like fucking McDonald's and get like the pink paste chicken I, wings. I, I never assumed you did. I did assume that Clint did, given the fact that he enjoys that bullshit. That is bullshit. <laughs> so that was the conversation we were having there. Real yeah, chicken okay. or no chicken. That's 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 my motto. Right. Okay. That's fine. I'm just saying, don't call something a wing that isn't a wing. I'm just I'm just using the colloquial term. Right. Yeah. You, just the advertised term. <laughs> right. Right. And the advertising is wrong. Right. I'm not I'm not gonna walk into a restaurant that serves boneless wings that I want to say. Right. And I be like, can I get the of the chicken? <laughs> okay. That you so lovingly I'm refer not... to as boneless wings. I'm not saying to do that either, <laughs> but I am saying it's nonsensical to to pit them against each other because it's two different cuts of chicken. If you want to have a conversation, right. do you but, like but you chicken wings or standing up and having this argument isn't going to change anything. Like, you're so, making it more difficult than it needs to be by having this argument. Oh, in the first okay. Place. No, that's no, that's a good way to live. I can't change anything by <laughs> arguing, so why should I argue? You, oh, I know you, as soon as those words were coming out, You Kyle really walked into like... a pile of shit right there, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I am bailing out of Kyle's side of this argument. Oh, jeez. I guess I shouldn't talk about anything, huh? Fuck feminism. Fuck feminism. Okay. I can't change feminism. Why support it? 
I'm not gonna make the patriarchy dissolve. Yes, because changing the name of Boneless <laughs> Wings is the same as trying to protect women's rights. Uh, no, it's not the same, but it is the same argument. It's on the same caliber. This is it's, a straw man. Just as this high. This is a straw man. <laughs> I never suggested Priority number two. Never suggested it was the same, just suggested it's the same <laughs> argument, which is true and irrefutable. <laughs> Your argument is, why talk sure. about it? You can't change it. Sure. <laughs> Which can be applied to any number of things, and is applied to many things by the worst people in the world. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I just wish people wouldn't fucking mischaracterize my argument, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. It did, you do it quite well. Hey, Evan, does it make you frustrated when I do that? Well, no. See, that one was a different kind of frustration, because I argued that on the podcast, and I felt like you guys just earnestly weren't listening to me. <laughs> I felt like at a certain point you all decided that what I was just saying was that bone-in wings were better than boneless wings, which has nothing to do with the point I was trying to make. And that I, was I think that I got caught in the crossfire of you like, and Clint going at if the pink paste was boneless wings or not. Well, that, that, I mean, but the thing is, this isn't like an opinionated argument. I'm just right. If the, no, I I don't disagree. If if it is pink paste made from various chicken bits that they shaped into a little fucking fried boot, it's it's not a it's barely chicken. It's certainly not a boneless wing. I, I agree with that. I think I was taking more offense to the idea that like you didn't specify that it was just Clint, and you were still lumping me in with that. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I don't know where you get your chicken wings. It's possible it's not. Re it's possible it's processed chicken wings. It's not. I'm not gonna. You know. So uh, it's. I, just, so do you think it is wing meat though? Do you think they took the bone out of the wing meat? No, absolutely not. I'm not stupid. <laughs> well then, wait. <sighs> absolutely I, not. I'm not stupid. Yeah. I just argue stupidly and fiercely all the time. <laughs> God damn you, Ryan. You human uh, miracle. Nightmare person, also. You nightmare person. I bounced between the two. I really didn't want to get sucked back into this, because the last thing I need is more fevered arguments on this fucking Skies playthrough. But this one I will not <laughs> back down from. Because... <laughs> oh my goodness. Because it is... It is... It is... God damn it. <laughs> nobody... Nobody wants to see the truth. Nobody. You just gotta reach out to it. Everybody's blind. Rose-colored glasses. I'm here to open their fucking minds. I'm here to expand their <laughs> minds. Oh, so you sheeple think it's wings? Well, listen to me. I just Sitting I just picture you like on the corner street somewhere mm -hmm. with like a speakerphone. Yeah. Just... No, to be clear, <laughs> open your eyes to the truth. I inside a Burger King. <laughs> I have not uh, thought about this issue since it since I last talked about it with someone. I'm certainly not a boneless chicken wings aren't actually chicken wings evangelist. I don't, uh... Let's get out of here. I, I don't do mission we're gonna, work. We're gonna meet Evan in, like, 10, 20 years and he's just gonna be, like, all those, like, ragged, like, conspiracy theorists kind of just, like, on the street, like, it's a lie, man. It's not wearing, a yeah, lie. Wearing a shirt that has a picture of a boneless wing and it has a, like, <laughs> red circle with a cross through it. I'm not... <laughs> A fucking conspiracy theorist, just because I see no, I'm just no, not, not, yet. <laughs> not yet, not <laughs> yet. I thought you were all like, oh, the best thing you can do is ask questions. Well, one time a little while ago, I asked a question: How could that be a chicken wing? It doesn't have a bone in it. What? Why is it shaped like a wing? Wouldn't it have a hole in it? And then and I investigated. Or now, the president's a chicken. And then I investigated and realized that many so-called chicken wings are just repurposed chicken breasts, or at worst, a uh, pink slurry that they... This is what you do with your time. Put in the... I, this is what I do when it is... I have argued maybe for... Including this, an hour and a half of my life about this. <laughs> if, if we're going to include this... And the, like, 45 minutes we spent on that podcast that one time. Yeah. Which, oh, wow. uh... <clears throat> okay, this is the beginning. I'm gonna save. Do you see? Ugh.
Good job, everybody. <laughs> this is a terrible dungeon, by the no way. No joke, it's literally like you take a right at the first fork, uh -huh. and then you take a left. And like, <laughs> okay. Well, I no. don't, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing that's it, but it's it's like that simple. Okay. Well. <laughs> Essentially. We can try that out next episode. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, fuck all those people who are supporting, supporting bone-in chicken wings. It's disgusting. What are you, an animal? <laughs> How do you feel about ribs? Uh, I I totally like the rib meat and the taste of ribs. I would never eat ribs for the same reason. I just think it's a fucking mess. I think it's a mess. Yeah, I think it's kind of gross. Like there's mm -hmm. too little meat for the for the effort. Yeah, I'm. I yeah, I would agree with it's that. Like I don't well, want. I think to that's be, always. Sorry, go ahead. I don't want to be reminded of the fact that I'm fucking eating innocent animals. I don't want to, it's like, what, oh, makes you feel big to eat something off a bone, huh? Maybe go down to a farm, fucking shoot the cow in the head, then just eat it raw, and just bite into its neck. <laughs> Is that what you want? You motherfuckers. So, oh, yeah, my. That's my I, I just, like, it really weirds me out when my friend tells me that whenever he's going on a date, like, he'll go to a restaurant, and when, if, if they ever have ribs, he always gets the ribs. What? And I'm like, why would you, why would you get ribs especially on a date? Yeah, like, like what? I would understand the opposite if, like, you didn't want to look like a fucking animal <laughs> in front of you. Right. Like, I don't even care about, like, f fuck cows. I like eating cows. Sure, I, I do, cows. too. I do, too. No, but, it's... like, I, <laughs> I'm just talking about, like, in, in pure terms of, like, staying neat and clean throughout yes. the course of dinner. Like, right. No, that's always been my feeling. I just don't. I also really have very little tolerance for, like, dark pieces of meat or fatty pieces of meat. And yeah, so I, I agree with you. That's, yep, same, same that's here. part of the reason bone-in, like, wings are so terrible, is because there's barely any white meat on them. It's just, like, yeah, it's just all fat and fucking gross muscles. My dad always, like, yells at me first, to, still to this day, ever since I was, like, nine... And like for the past 12 years he's yelled at me for cutting off the fat of my steak and I'm like no it's disgusting yeah it I'm is not disgusting gonna... okay so see look we've had a full discussion we've reached a good consolation here we all agree that bone in's pretty gross right and my position is clear that I'm not stating that bone in's better just that boneless wings aren't wings right right we all know what's going on uh -huh. this is refreshing <laughs> This is refreshing, uh, guys. We've reached a, we've reached a peaceful conclusion. We all know where we all stand. And but if, for the record, for the record, I feel that the you know there are certain arguments that are worth having. Yeah. The semantics of whether or not boneless wings should be called boneless wings, I don't think is really one of them. Oh well, I thought earlier you were saying we shouldn't argue about stuff we can't change. Has your tenor changed, Kyle? That no, that's what I just said. No, you said there are some things worth arguing about, and some right. And this is not one of them. So, what are the things worth arguing about? Well, for Feminism. example, women's rights. Women's <laughs> rights. Okay, so it's only <laughs> worth. Arguing. Story of future perfect deactivate. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Can I change women's rights by talking about them on this show? No one watches. See, and this what? is what happens. We get in a fucking battle because I mean, I can turn this off at any time. I see. God, <laughs> answer me that. Uh, Kyle, gonna... let's talk. No, let's dig deep into what you're saying here. No, hang on. Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, no. Let the man go to the bathroom. No. We'll continue this on the next episode. Oh, can we? Can we? I want... This was a fucking full narrative. This was... We fucking started with the argument. We finished all settled. Then you come in here with more stuff. So let's, let's hear it, Kyle. Oh. Fucking... Okay, so that there's no... <laughs> There's no, nothing wrong with discussing something yes. like women's rights because we are educating each other on something that is an important issue. But something as trivial and arbitrary as something like what something is fucking called okay. is ridiculous. Okay, Shut so... the fuck up and, and stop the fucking video. How about that? Okay, okay. Let's, let's keep a mental note of all the arguments Kyle has gotten into. <laughs> it was over, important enough to get trending on Twitter. Over the hundreds of hours of recorded video on the internet. Let's think about that for a minute. Kyle, so would you say you hold yourself to the standard of never arguing about something trivial? Have you ever <laughs> argued about a video game? I gotta pee. Oh, God. I, I'm just, I'm the one asking questions here. 
Right. No. And if you went back, I'm sure there would be some that I'm like, yeah, that's really not <laughs> worth arguing about. Yet I just did, didn't I? Right, but what's the standard for something being worth ar- Like, what I'm saying is, what are you saying? Are you saying it's a waste of time? Like, all the time you spend arguing about something, you should spend arguing about Oh, I think about there's a lot of things that people waste their time on. Right. Porn. <laughs> like, like, like sitting here watching me play Skies of Arcadia. How is that any less a waste of time than us arguing about the chicken? Well, I'm, thing? yeah, sure. I mean, I could just not be on next episode. That's fine. <laughs> but what? No, I'm trying to point out the way your argument's falling apart. I'm not trying to get you off the off the show. But Kyle, I'm, I'm trying to rip you to shreds before I end this video. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, but look, I thought in reasoned debate. <laughs> That I people would like to hear a conclusion. <laughs> I didn't realize that baseless things could be accused and then we can just let it slide. That's not the America I know you guys. I have to take my computer to the bathroom with me just so oh I God. can go. JRPG oh Story of Future Perfect Deactivate. Boots. <laughs>